Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 39 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. This is the following up problems for previous one, right? The previous circuit looks like this one. And then in this one, tell us the 25 ohms resistor is shorted out. So shorted out means this two ends are connected by a wire. So this circuit just uh, removed, right? This is a resistor removed. So there is a wire, look like this one. So now ask you, what then would be the current go through the 15 ohms? So 15 ohms is in the middle. So ask you to find the current go through I5, right? And this one, we can solve it in a more easy way because we can simplify the circuit, right? You can say, how can you simplify the circuit? You can say R1 and R5, this end is together. Another end is together because this is just the wires. So the voltage between the R1 and R5 equals, so this is a parallel connection, agree? Okay? So we can join it there, R1, R5, parallel. And then you can say at the one end, this is a parallel connection connected to R3, right? So connected to R3. And for this part, this Resistors one end with at there, another end at is R3. So we can draw it in this way. Can you agree? Yes, then connected to battery, right? It looks like we need to find the current that goes through I5. It's so easy. This is a typical circuit, right? And then we can see the voltages in from this end, these two ends, just as the battery's voltages, right? Yes. And then how can we solve it? We can see the first one, we need to find the equivalent resistance for R1 and R5 there. This is a parallel connection. You can get this function easily. And the equivalent resistance for R1, R5, R3 is there, right? Use the R5, use the R15 plus R3, we get it there. Now we can get the current goes through these branches as is the epsilon divided by equivalent resistance R153 because it's a voltage equal to batteries, right? So now we get the current at these branches is there. So now this current goes through there. So now what is the voltage for V1 and V5? So V1 equal to V5 equal to epsilon minus the voltage decreased by resistor R3, right? So minus I153 times R3 now, very easily, we can get current for I5 is the voltage V5 divided by R5 input V5 inside. We input all the given quantities, get the answer there. Thank you.